All right, so we just got in our new tool for Makerspace, and this is a nibbler, and you can attach it onto a drill. I've seen a lot of videos going around of people using this to make uh, kid-friendly table saws. And when I first saw them, I got really excited because right now the only power tool we use is a drill. So if we could use something like this to start cutting wood and other things, then it would really open up what we can do in Makerspace. But as I've played with it a bit, I've come to realize kind of what its limits are. But we can still do some neat things with it. So we're gonna take a look at this thing and then build a kid-friendly table saw with it. So the way the nibbler works is you would attach your saw here and then, or sorry, your drill here. And when you turn your drill on, it spins. And then this little piece moves up and down. And if you slide something in here, it'll punch out a little crescent shaped piece over and over. So if you keep sliding your material in, you can start cutting right through it. And the version I got for the nibbler, so I just went on Amazon and got one and came with this mounting device. So there's also in here, if you don't want to use the table saw, you've also got a handle which just screws on here like this. And then, so when you put it in the drill, then you can hold the handle. But we're gonna mount the drill on a table so kids can be hands-free when they're using it. So I'm gonna take this part off and we won't be using the handle. I'm gonna use this mounting thing instead. So the way it works is it goes in, nibbler goes in there like that. It's got this piece that you can put on top. Now, <clears throat> I assume that this is for your drill. So I'm kind of limited. I've got one good drill in my class and I can't use that and have it permanently hooked up to this table saw. But I do have this old one that was donated and this one's actually gonna work perfectly for what we wanna do because you can actually lock the trigger down. So you can lock it in the on position and it's run with a power cord so we can just plug it in and unplug it when we wanna turn it off. But the problem I have is when I, it fits in here nicely, but it's not quite long enough to reach the nibbler. So what I think I can do is I'll just cut right through here and take maybe an inch of plastic off. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to screw this down on a base anyway. So if there's if these two pieces are separated, it shouldn't really matter. Okay, here's what the setup looks like for our kids' table saw. So first thing I did was I uh, screwed down the nibbler and just made sure that this piece was right in the middle of my base. Um, I cut that black brace so that I could fit the saw in. Um, I used a couple triangle pieces of wood here to build kind of a wedge to hold the saw and then I just clamped them down. Um, yep, so why don't we turn it on and see how it looks. These pieces here, I just cut these to make sure that they were gonna, when I put the top on, the nibbler is gonna be level with that. You've only got three millimeters of clearance with the nibbler, so you really wanna make sure you're not wasting any of that three millimeters. So then my top goes on there like that. Okay, Riley's gonna test out our new table saw. He's gonna cut some sheet metal. Okay, go for it, Riley. So the reason this is a kid-friendly table saw is that uh, with there only being a 3 millimeter sized opening in the nibbler, uh, kids can't get their fingers in there, so there's not really any way for them to get hurt using it. That is loud! Okay, stop it, Riley! And I love How did that smell. cut? Really good. It Is it easy? Yeah. Oh. Cut clean. You started to nice and clean and you started to like really oh, only at the start. Awesome.